Yes. All right, we're going to break right into it. Uh, with me now is new uh, South Lake head football coach, Brad Lord. Brad, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Brad, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself for people that don't know, and uh, as well as uh, how did you come to be the head football coach at South Lake? Well, I was a head football coach for 16 years at Foundation Academy in Winter Garden. We had pretty a, a pretty good run there. Um, took the last few years off because I wanted to watch my son play. I didn't want to coach him. I wanted to be a dad. Um, and a few of my friends talked me into coming to South Lake, and I love that they did. I love working there. The administration's awesome, and uh, we, we, we have a very bright future there. Yeah, you come from Foundation Academy, and you started there in uh, roughly 2008 is when you started. Uh, at that time, Foundation, they were... They were in a in a bit of a rut, I would say, when you got there, and yes. you were able to to build them back up into a winning football program. So, uh, how how are you going to take what you did with Foundation and be able to build South Lake back into a winning football program? Well, the recipe is pretty easy: discipline, um, hard work, effort, the weight room, <laughs> especially in football. I mean, the weight room's key, and uh, in Florida. If you want to be a good football team, it's a year-round job. Uh, my coaching staff is going to be working year-round. Our players will be working year-round. We're going to put in the work. And South Lake, I mean, in the next few years, people are going to drop off stuff, off their schedule because we will uh, be a team that is very physical on Friday nights. You come in and – South Lake is two and eighteen the last couple of years, so it, it, it was a, a difficult difficult to watch that at South Lake the last couple of years. You've come in and you've talked about changing the culture of the program. How does how does that happen? And everyone's got to have to buy in on it. Um, we have sixty six freshmen right now. Wow, playing football. We got one hundred and twenty five playing between varsity and JV. Uh, so there's a buzz. But um, I was watching. Um, Sea biscuit the other night, <laughs> and I remember the trainer saying, "He's been beat up, and he he he's been beat up, and he hasn't had much success. We got to teach him how to be a horse again. Well, we need to teach our players how to be players again and how to win. We had a nail biter the other night, but we made too many mistakes, turnovers, and penalties cost us. We lost twenty one to twenty to a good first academy team." But we're getting there. I mean, we hung with Matanzas, who's a 2-0 and team, until the third quarter. Um, you know, everyone's like, wow, coach, it's it's getting better. Well, you know, we're 0-2. To me, that's not better. But I do see progress. We got a great bunch of kids, um, and we're going to coach these kids up and have a blast doing it and hopefully win some games soon. Yeah, we, we certainly hope that you're able to get your first victory. I mean, you were very close in the Madison's game uh, along with the uh, the first Academy game, which uh, if a couple of calls went your way, you probably would have had the win in that game. Yeah, um, yeah, but we got to make it where calls don't matter. Mm -hmm. We have to take control in football, take control of the line of scrimmage, and be more disciplined. Our youth and, and, and inexperienced football IQ showed last Friday night. Uh, we will – clean that up we're on the bye this week uh then we play our first district opener with westport next week at home um we're making friday nights a buzz there mm -hmm. a fun place we redid the stadium repainted it cleaned it up redid concessions so it's a, a we're gonna have food trucks there on friday nights and uh nice. and make it a, a great experience with good with a good product and, and we're not just looking for our football team to lead on the field, we're looking our, for our football team to what we call be beacons of light in the community and the school community, the school hallways, the cafeteria. So it all ties together. I've coached a long time. The good teams discipline themselves. The great teams even do it at a higher level. I've experienced a few of those teams. Um, one of our teams I coached, we got to the state semifinals. That team... It was a COVID year. Mm -hmm. um, I'll never forget. We had a shutdown for a week. Coaches couldn't coach. Uh, it was in 2020. 
our captains coach they had their own practices up in grove uh, up at four corners because mm-hmm. um, we couldn't be there that's leadership and that's the type of athletes we're going to be looking to have on our team at south lake high school Absolutely incredible what you're building down there. Uh, those philosophies are terrific. You want to also talk about what a successful season looks like in this first year for you guys. What would you define as a successful season for South Lake? The playoffs. You want to make the playoffs? Yep, the playoffs. I know people are saying, well, get a win first, Coach. You haven't mm-hmm. had one in a while. We, are, we have some talent there. We can shock some people. We're getting better and better every practice. We're getting better and better every rep. And we need to keep elevating that, and the wins are going to come. If the if yeah. the kids could put that pressure off themselves about the first win, we will. The wins are going to come. I, I I know football, and and you can see it. Yeah, and, and we, we, we love those philosophies. We love what you're bringing down there for South Lake. We haven't seen the buzz like that in a long time down there, so we're really excited for you all. What, what made you come back to coaching full-time? Because obviously you were, you were watching your son the last couple of years. And playing too much golf. <laughs> I, guess, I guess too much golf brought you back. Well, what my was... golf game has never been great. <laughs> um, and when you start playing a lot and you don't even get that much better at it, you start getting frustrated. So... Um, it's been a blessing for me. Uh, I've lost weight. Um, awesome. I love going to work every day and work 15 to 16 hour days. Uh, I believe I believe it was divine intervention who brought me there uh, with some friends. And uh, I'm excited for South Lake. Mm-hmm. I love working with the principal, Mr. Benson. He's phenomenal. Um, all the uh, the assistant principals. They're great. They've taught me a lot. Um, you know, going from a roster, you know, at, at 55 or 60 to a roster at 126, it mm-hmm. doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot different. Um, we have a different, diverse community on our, on our football program, and mm-hmm. we have different kids. And, and di- you know, I could, I can't have 5:30 in the morning practices like I did at Foundation Academy. <laughs> Because a lot of my kids are on the bus loop, mm-hmm. right? So it's great in, in September and August to have those morning practices because you miss the weather. But it's hard for us to do there because our kids are on the bus loop. So, you know, you live and learn. And Coach Lord needs to be patient. Mm-hmm. He can't just knock doors down and get things done. He has to go through the, the process. And so it's a learning stage for me, too. Speaking about the process there, Coach, um, we talked a lot about uh, NIL deals that uh, are potentially are a hot topic in Florida. NIL deals are name, image, likeness for those who don't know. Um, what is the significance of this, and do you see it coming to f- high school sports in Florida? Because 30 out of 50 states currently have it. It will be here within a year or so. And the t- schools that aren't ready for it will fall behind. Um one of the things I did in my last four or five years at Foundation Academies, I was the director of college placement and recruiting um, for placing kids in college sports. Uh, so that get, it, it, And I've learned a lot that way. Um, the NIL deals are going to come, but I don't know how fast they are because of the transfer portal. Mm-hmm. So the, the transfer portal is going to slow down. I mean, you're going to have to be a – a real four or five star to get money in the NIL deals, I believe. Okay. Um, uh, do I think they're coming? Yes. Do I think it's bad? I'm not going to say bad or good. I mean, it is coming. Um, so schools will have to have someone in place to handle that um, with the parent and you know, Needless to say, they'll probably have agents. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I mean, you, you see it in mm-hmm. baseball mm-hmm. for high school kids. They start getting. I mean, they're not supposed to, but there are people that are are representing high school kids if they're top notch baseball players. So, if that does come into play, how does that change the landscape of high school sports in Florida? I mean, are you going to have kids transferring just, just like that? I mean, kids transfer now, and they're allowed to, whereas in other states, they're not exactly – some states don't allow that to play wherever you want down here in Florida. I guess you can. How does that change the landscape? I, I think it's going to change it 
tremendously. I think they'll they'll kids will flock to the schools that at the end, and they're going to have to be careful because if they all go to one good school, um, you know, let's take for example, Jones has had a, a huge mm-hmm. run over the last you know five to ten years, or Edgewater, mm-hmm. right? If they all go there, no matter how good the coach is, I mean you're only going to have your top-notch things. And again, I don't know how many of these deals. It's definitely going to happen, but you're going to have to be special to get one. Say, yeah. like, for example, the kid I coached at Foundation, Danny Stutzman. He'd be a type of kid who would be getting that. Um, a Brian Thomas, who's at South Carolina, who played for us. It's going to happen. I just don't know how many they're going to get. Because if I'm a college coach and I can get a kid, a defensive end who's been at Alabama for two years and has done well in school and has proven that he can be a college athlete Mm -hmm. over a high school kid that you're taking a chance on, I mean, it's a no-brainer. I'm going to go with a transfer (laughs) portal kid all day long. Yeah, Um, I think the other night watching Florida State, overcome a ton of penalties and mental mistakes, it showed uh, how strong they did in the portal. Mm -hmm. Um, You could tell that they did very well in the portal. You had older, mature kids that could overcome a ton of mistakes and a ton of penalties in the first half and have a second half like they did. Yeah, it's un- unbelievable what's going on there. And if that does it truly come to high school sports, uh, it's going to set uh, set some interesting things up uh, for the There'll future. There'll be new new, new <laughs> people, new jobs for guidance people. Wow. That, that that will be, I mean, you'll have to be an agent. You'll have to be versed in recruiting. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I was blessed my last eight years. I had colleges coming in and out of our school hallways, so I learned a lot from the college coaches and going through the process. But the process is going to up. And then moms and dads are going to think all their little Johnnies should deserve an NIL deal. So that's going to be another thing on when they're going to go to school, where they're going to go to school. Yeah, it's going to change a lot in the next couple of years. Uh, Brad, one last question before we let you go. Um, what do you see as far as the future goes for South Lake? Uh, I mean, it's looking pretty bright as far as it goes for you. Well, a lot of teams have us on the schedule this year. A lot of teams aren't going to want to have us on the schedule in the next few years. Absolutely. Brad, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. Take take care, and I appreciate you guys. And uh, go Eagles. Uh, go Eagles, absolutely. We'll, uh...